could you just talk a little bit more about the the anticipated benefits that fleets are going to get by utilizing your trailer technology? Yeah. Um, so on the the very very surface is that we get about forty to fifty percent better fuel economy. So if you're getting five or six miles per gallon, expect to get um, eleven or twelve miles per gallon. Uh, uh, and then if uh, and then we're reducing the diesel emissions and the harmful particulates by about seventy percent. So that's the with kind no of, other change to no the other emission change system, to anything, anything, nothing at all. Um, that's just on the quick on the surface. Yeah. And that if you don't have any charging infrastructure in your fleet, we get about ten percent better fuel economy because we're regening through that axle. Right. And so there are fleets that are, are running routes and running lanes without charging at all, and and seeing net benefits because there's also in addition to the efficiency benefits, our system can run a, a reefer, especially if you're running over the road. We can actually run that reefer essentially indefinitely right. um, by by turning up and down the regen on the on the axle, and so there's a bunch of uh, different benefits there. And the important piece here is that we're building this trailer as a new platform for all of the other stuff that's showing up: yeah. electric lift gates, uh, solar, uh, right. electric e TRUs, e all exactly of yeah. all of that stuff. And so our battery and the generator that is the e axle will also act as the power supply and the power generation plant within the trailer to power all of these other ancillary components that are coming out. So we're just starting, just by driving and showing the efficiency information and the safety stuff, we're just scratching the surface of the opportunity for these trailers and these fleets. And when it comes to the way that a fleet specs this, is it only on new trailers or is there a retrofit option that's gonna be available? The retrofit option is a real thing. Okay. We, you know, thanks to the industry that have standardized a lot of things like tandem sliders yeah. and things like that. And so our our slider will carry over from, you know, your we can we can basically build a kit that gets retrofit into your old trailer. Fantastic. The last element, sorry, from your last question about charging, because this is something that I think a lot of the, the uh, customers are going to be asking or the listeners are going to be asking about. Uh, charging is, is something that's very, very important to this industry and yeah. the infrastructure around charging is very important. If you think of an electric tractor, you have to install <coughs> megawatt charging. You have to do 800 megawatt, 1.2 megawatt charging stations. And those tractors, every time they're parked, they're burning money. Mm -hmm. The trailers, because they're parked at a loading dock, we can charge um, uh, at the loading dock using shore power because we can actually leverage 150 kilowatt, 200 kilowatt, 300 kilowatt DC fast chargers that are readily available in the automotive space that can use building power and just charge at the loading dock okay. DC, or even better, you know, some of our uh, uh, beverage routes, they just hook up overnight and the thing is uh, loaded up overnight. The driver shows up in the morning, charged, does the ready route, to go. it's charged and ready to go. And we just use level two charging basically that you can buy off of Amazon. And so the charging solution becomes much more flexible this way. Obviously, our trailer will also charge off the megawatt charging that, that most of the fleets are building. But that charging element is a very, very important piece to this because it, it often, oftentimes just gets kind of brushed under the rug. Well, and especially over the years where we're going to do this transition, this is not going to happen all at once. So there's going to be different scenarios at different locations as each fleet and each location gets That's right. to that level of, right. of electrification. Yeah, and then you start thinking about the warehouse operators like the prologists of the world. As they build new warehouses, right. they start to see technology like this and they incorporate that charging at the loading dock. So then it truly becomes completely transparent no matter what your lanes look like or what your, what your operations look like. You've been listening to the Heavy Duty Parts Report. My name is Jamie Irvin. I've been speaking with Ali Javadan. He is the CEO and founder of Range Energy. If you'd like to learn more, go to range.energy. Links will be in the show notes. Ali, thank you so much thank for being on so the show. Thank you so much. And thanks. thanks for building a podcast studio for us. That was yeah, great. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs>